God has promised to take care of all his children when you're going through your of times in your life only believe put your faith and trust in the Lord he will deliver right on time we are in gimme me bit which is where we built the second school last year at about this time and um, somewhere near seven miles away from the first school we built in Racecourse two years ago, the same year that Stephanie lost her life in Haiti. And we just want to see the progress that they're making and it's so heartwarming to see that the kids are thriving, they're happy, the school looks fabulous, it's filled with desks and learning materials all over and things hanging from the walls and hanging from the ceilings and there's just such enthusiasm and it just makes you feel so good. It's almost better coming back than it was building the school. Just because you see like how it maintained itself, it, it's still it looks great. The kids are thrilled to see you. You know that when you first when we first built the school, they don't really know what to expect in it you. And now it's kind of just like it's easier. You know, it's it's good to see the joy. Each year, some children leave, some come. So we have to keep on reminding them. And whenever it touches that time when she died. We always have a little service in memory of her, and we are grateful. We are grateful. Maybe, I know the Chris Pinellis has lost a daughter, but they have gained a family, and we are thankful for that. We're very grateful that Stephanie's mission of her family and friends have chosen to partner with Food for the Poor in building these basic schools in Jamaica. It's such a great need to provide a decent learning environment for these very young and vulnerable children. And it's really a testament to, to Stephanie's legacy. This year we're building a school on the West Coast where very few of us have ever been. Food for the Poor sent pictures of the the building, if you want to call it that, the building where they go into school now. And again, it's just not conducive to a learning process. And uh, so we'll go there and we'll build another school just in time for the year to end. And hopefully it, the enrollment will increase there too and it'll attract more children. The Fern Basic School is an existing basic school, but it was really in need of a lot of repairs, in need of a lot of help. And so two years ago, we discovered the school and thought it was just wonderful to have the group come and actually rebuild the school. Um, Tony is the, the um, contractor on this site and I'll let him introduce himself and his crew. Okay, first of all, I need seven painters. Whoa, a lot of <laughs> Painters come, painters come. So this morning we have all the people back here putting up the walls for the school. This is going to be Stephanie's place three. And then right over here is the principal's house that we're painting because this is her property. And so she should have a nice house with her school because she's worked so hard for years and years. Poo Poo is a great team. They kind of just point you in what direction to be. They show you what to do. Um, we did the roof. I did a couple side panels. And um, a lot of hammer and nails. Stephanie was always um, an advocate to try and make a difference in the world through giving kids an opportunity at, for an education. That was how she was going to put her, her little mark on the world. So we're just following what she would have done. We were very much in need of a school and these kind folks came down and build, building today a school for us. I'm elated. I am bubbling over with joy. I cannot explain how great I'm feeling about this great work that you are doing for us in this community. I keep on praying I say, God, if it is your plan, please help me. And I set it before him every time and I pray and I see that God brought it through today. Jamaica, me love, you know. Love on no love on no fee true 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 Who know a pretty people And who no know say a true Who no sweet like a pudding 
and a sugar plum plum Jamaica me love you no love you no love you no feel true the feeling of, of happiness to build something and paint it and have it ready it's it's a good feeling for all of us Jamaica me love you no love you no love you no feel true 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 who know what pretty people are and who know no say you're true to be a part of it and to actually be in her shoes, it's surreal. Like, although she's not here, I, I feel like she is with me. And it's the most amazing feeling ever. And I really wish that at least every single person could go on a humanitarian trip once in their life. It's something that I want to do every year now. And I understand why she became so passionate about it. Down in Clarendon, up in Longville Park. Come and see Mr. Hunter riding on his Honda. Stephanie would be blown away by this whole the whole thing. She would be loving it every minute. We wouldn't be able to get her away from here. She, I think she would move here. I think she would want to just be with the kids. She loved the Jamaicans. She loved their spirit. Um, she loved everything about being here. So it makes us feel her presence here. She was just, um, there was something about the Jamaican people that could capture her heart. Jamaica, me love you. Love on love on the feet, true, true, true. Who know what pretty people are, and who know say you're true. Who know sweet like a pudding, and a sugar plum, plum. Jamaica, me love on love on love on the feet, true.